Wouldn't it be great if you could turn ordinary photos into atmospheric masterpieces? And you wouldn't even have to be a pro editing wizard to get these incredible results. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a piece of software that I've been testing out for the past few weeks. And I believe it can help boost your creative process and just simplify certain editing tasks. I'm talking about Luminar Neo. And I'm gonna be honest with you, when they first reached out asking if I wanted to test the software, I was a bit skeptical, but I have to say I'm actually really surprised at what you can do with Luminar Neo. And I think you guys are gonna love it. Now, if by the end of the video, you're interested to try out Luminar Neo, there's a link and a 10% discount code down in the description. All right, let's get started. This is an image I've actually never been able to edit to a point where I was really happy with it. However, I know that there's something here because the scene was actually really stunning when I was there. So let's see what we can do with Luminar Neo. I'm gonna start with this enhance AI slider and watch how it affects the entire image. It basically improves the detail, the color, the contrast, and the depth all in one slider, but without being too much. And I really think that this is quite impressive. You can see there's also a sky enhancer and I'll show you what that does in another image. But first let's go to this landscape tool here and I'll increase the dehaze slider, which adds a bit more contrast and of course reduces the haze a bit as well. And now see what this golden hour slider does. Look at how it produces such a realistic, beautiful, warm glow. And let me just show you the difference if we would for example, try and achieve the same thing by adjusting the temperature in the white balance settings. So here in the develop tool, there are all the standard adjustment sliders and under color, we can adjust the white balance. So if I increase the temperature, you can tell the result is not as pleasing as what that golden hour slider was doing. All right, so let's go back to the landscape tool because there is also this foliage enhancer. So if I move that slider up, it's basically increasing the luminance and the saturation of the foliage. And if I open the advanced settings here, I can even change the hue of that foliage. Now, I actually like the foliage the way it was, so I'm just going to reset that slider. So let's already have a look at the before and after. Pretty nice results after only using two tools so far. Again, before and after. Let's scroll down to the creative tools here and I'll show you some of these AI tools in a second, but before that, let's add some mood to this image. So here in the mood tool, you can find a bunch of different LUTs that will instantly give your image a certain look. So they're kind of like color grading presets. And I'm gonna go with this Anaheim here. And then I can just adjust the amount I want this LUT to be applied to my image. And I can also change the contrast and the saturation. Another thing that I think will look good on a forest image like this is this glow tool. You can see as I move the slider up, it creates this really beautiful softness to the highlights. Now there are a few options to choose from here. This one is soft focus, but there's also glow, Orton effect and Orton effect soft. And different options will of course work better for different images, but I think here soft focus looks the nicest. All right, the last thing I'm gonna show you for this particular image is maybe a bit too much for some of you. And I think you have to use it with good taste and not overdo it, but it's this sun rays tool here. And let's just increase the amount a bit so you can see what it does. And if I hit place sun center, I can move the sun wherever I want in my image and look at how it detects the tree, the branches and all the leaves. Isn't that crazy? Now you also have all these options here to adjust the sun and the sun rays. And you can also adjust the warmth of the sun center and the rays. And I'm sure that this is not for everyone, you know, this type of photo manipulation, but I think it does an incredible job at it. Let's have a look at the before and after before and after. I don't know about you, but I think this is pretty crazy stuff already. Okay, before I show you some really wild things that we can do with Luminar Neo, let's first have a look at a super useful tool that honestly blew my mind a little bit. In this photo of my girlfriend and I, you can tell that the light is a little bit off. So the light is coming from here and we are very much in the shadows, especially our faces. So we're gonna try and fix that. But let's first do a few basic adjustments to improve the image a little bit. So I'm gonna start off with Accent AI again because it did a great job before. And I'll just increase this enhanced sky slider as well. You can see how it brings out a bit more detail in the sky. And I think this is something that will work well for sunset skies or maybe like cloudy moody skies. Okay, as you can tell now, my sensor wasn't very clean and there are quite a few dust spots here. But Luminar Neo has a pretty handy function to fix this. I'm gonna go to the erase tool and there's a button here that says remove dust spots. And when I click it, Luminar Neo is actually going to detect where all the dust 
hotspots are and then remove them automatically, which I think is a huge time saver. I mean, just imagine you have hundreds of photos from a shoot and you have dust spots on all of them and you'd have to start cloning them out all manually. But more importantly, look at what a good job it does. I also want to remove this funny guy here in the shot. So still in the erase tool, I'm going to brush over him and then hit erase. And you can see it kind of messed up a little bit here, but that's not a problem. I'm just going to brush over that area again and then hit restore and it will bring back that part of the image. So now let's try and sort out this lighting situation. The way I would normally do this would be by increasing the shadows and perhaps increasing the overall exposure a bit as well. But you can see how that affects the entire image and just makes it look a little bit flat. So I'll just reset these and have a look at this right here. Luminar Neo has this Relight AI tool. And look closely at what happens to the light in the image as I move this slider. Look at how accurately the light is actually wrapping around us here. Now this is at a pretty extreme level just to make sure that you guys can see it. And as I move these sliders, what is happening is Luminar's AI is actually reading this image and can figure out the three dimensionality of the image. So what is the background, what is the midground, and what is the foreground? And it then uses that data to relight the scene in a very natural way. And I don't know about you guys, but I think that's really quite impressive. Let me just show you a before and after with the relight tool. So this is the relight tool off and on, off and on. And then a before and after of the entire edit, before and after. So like I said, for this next image, we're gonna see just how far we can go with these Luminar Neo tools. And I mentioned that things might get a little bit wild, so a warning for any purists out there. So this was shot in the middle of the day on a volcano in Mexico, and as you can tell, not the best conditions for an epic photo. So let's try and make it epic. I'm gonna start off again with Accent AI. You can probably tell I really like this tool. And let's also see what Sky Enhancer does. Yeah, it's not too bad, but let's see where the rest of the edit takes us. And again, a lot of dust spots here. Oops. So I'll just go into the eraser tool and hit remove dust spots. And that's an easy fix. And we've had good results with the landscape tool before. So I'm just going to try that one here as well. So increase the dehaze and then increase the golden hour. Now here it doesn't give that much glow like in the first image, but it just gives this image a nice bit of saturation. And if I increase the foliage enhancer, that also adds a nice bit of vibrance to the colors. Now you can tell that there's a lot of light in the immediate foreground here, which is kind of distracting from the rest of the image. So let's see if we can fix that with Relight AI. So I'm gonna decrease the brightness near and then also increase the brightness far a bit. And that just kind of directs the light a bit more towards the subject and the landscape. Next, let's add some atmosphere in this image with another very interesting tool, this Atmosphere AI. And here I can select fog, layered fog, mist, and haze. And let me just increase the amount quite a bit so that you can see what these different options look like. So I think haze looks best for this shot. And with the depth slider, I can determine where in the scene it applies this haze. And the cool thing about this is that, again, Luminar's AI is actually creating like a 3D map of this image and then figures out the depth of the image and where all the objects are. It then does a really good job at creating a very realistic looking fog or haze. The thing is though, again, you don't really wanna overdo these types of effects because then of course it will look very unnatural. So I'm going to reduce the amount a bit and then also reduce the lightness a bit. All right, let's add a quick look to this shot in the mood tool. So I'm going to have a look at the creative LUTs here. And I think this one, Smoky, looks pretty good for this image. I'm going to increase the amount a bit and also increase the contrast and the saturation a bit as well because we're going for a quite dramatic result here. All right, let's have a quick look at the before and after. It looks good, but I'm not really happy with this sky. So let's have a look at this tool here, Sky AI. And I'm gonna look for a sky that could actually fit this scene. Now, as I toggle through these different options, just notice how well it adjusts the overall lighting of the image. And even the reflection in the small lake here is being adjusted every time. So I think this one here works really well for this image. Now you can tell that it missed a bit of the original sky here, so I can just go into mask refinement and then move the global slider up a little bit and that's gonna fix that. 
and just have a look at what a really good job it did with this sky replacement. Even this bit of cloud touching the ridge here. We can also adjust the scene relighting here and then make adjustments to the reflection if we want to. All right, and to finish this image, let's add some contrast, decrease the highlights a bit and shadows as well. And then have a look before and after, before and after. I mean, this is just insane. This would have taken so much longer and would have been so much more complicated to do in Photoshop, for example. And here you can do this stuff with just a few sliders. So I think Luminar Neo is a fantastic piece of software, especially for anyone who is new to photo editing or for beginners or hobbyists who maybe don't wanna spend that much time editing or don't wanna go through the process of learning a more complicated software because this just makes things so much easier and it's just a lot of fun. Besides that, with all these AI features, it doesn't matter what kind of photography you're doing. You know, if you like portrait photography, if you shoot weddings, if you're a landscape photographer, there's something there for everyone. But even if you're more experienced or a professional, I think many of these Luminar Neo tools are great to incorporate in your Photoshop or Lightroom workflow. And that's most likely how I will use Luminar Neo just to simplify certain tedious tasks that just take longer in other software. Now, if you want to start playing around with Luminar Neo and see what it can do for your images, definitely check out the link in the description and use the discount code STAN10 to get 10% off an annual subscription. All right, that's it for me. I hope you learned something new in this video. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.